My wife of five years slept with another guy and I am heartbroken. This is the second time that she cheated on me and I stupidly forgave her the first time. First time she cheated on me was in the parking lot at her work. I used to pick her up from work before she got a car of her own. And one time I arrived at her work about half an hour earlier than usual. And as I drove into the car park, my wife was openly sitting in another guy's car, which happened to be a co-worker of hers. I didn't tell her I was there, however. Instead, I just watched her from a distance. And then I saw her going to the back seat and then bend over for her co-worker. I jumped out of my car and ran up to them and confronted her on the spot she begged me for a second chance and the idiot that i am actually forgave her however after she cheated the first time she completely changed in a very positive way and became the woman that i fell in love with she is sorry again for this and wants to work things out for a third time and she seems extra genuine this time if i felt that she could change then should i give her another chance i'm going to give you the short answer and i'm going to give you the long answer are you ready for the short answer first the short answer is that you are a complete simp i don't know what is wrong with you but you definitely have some mad self-esteem issues i don't know how you're even contemplating seeing this woman ever again and even giving her the time of day you have literally lost the plot you are cuckoo my man but that's the short answer the long answer is that you have lost the plot i don't know what you're thinking mate she was literally getting shagged in the parking lot in her car you saw her firsthand and forgave her you are mad that's all i'm gonna say my best advice to you is do not do it she is a bottom of the barrel for the streets hole but at the same time you are a bottom of the barrel simp my man and the ugly truth is this you might be a very nice guy i'm not denying that i'm not saying you're a bad person you've probably got a very good heart but the problem is if you give a bottom of the barrel for the streets hold the time of day you give them an inch they will take the whole fucking mile and that's what's happened here she has literally ruined you because you've given her the permission to take advantage of you and completely use and abuse you and if that's the kind of relationship that you want then my man give her a second chance give her a third chance give her a fourth chance because she's going to cheat on you as much as you're allowed to cheat on you she will walk over you as much as you let her walk over you that's the bottom line here but that's down to you to make that call me personally i wouldn't give her the time of day after the first time she did mate she would be lucky if i even gave her a second of my time after that so i hope you take my advice on that and let's Let's go on to question number two. My fiance cheated while I was working in another state. Me and my fiance are in an open relationship that mostly consists of her dating and going out on dates with my knowledge. While I was away, she told me about a few dates that she went on, but clarified that nothing happened besides some kissing because she didn't feel right about doing anything more than just kissing while I wasn't in town. Fast forward two weeks ago, I found out that she's been going on more dates than she was telling me and she was even having sex with multiple guys. What hurts me the most is the fact that she could have just been honest with me and it would have been no issue at all because we are in an open relationship, but she's still decided to lie to me i'm starting to feel that our relationship isn't as healthy as maybe i thought it was what should i do so i do understand what you're saying and i don't understand what you're saying the first thing i do understand is that the fact that you're in an open relationship you're meant to be open with each other so end of the day i don't see why she had to lie to you when you're in an open relationship you could basically do whatever you want you're basically living a single life but also having a relationship at the same time me personally i will never ever get into an open relationship it's not for me never has been for me and never will be for me i like my woman to be exclusive to me and i want to be exclusive to her if you're that empty inside and not ready to commit to one person then just don't get into a relationship at all just become a fuck buddy of that person or something like that that's personally my advice but anyways moving on i don't think that she's cheating on you because you are in an open relationship so she can kind of do whatever she wants and she hasn't really cheated on you in my opinion but i get the fact that if you are in an open relationship lying to you isn't cool man my personal advice is this i don't think that your relationship was even healthy to begin with if i had to take a wild guess i'd probably say that one in every ten thousand open relationships actually work and that relationship is probably a scenario where say the woman is bisexual so the woman wants to be women as well as men the man is more than happy to sleep with women too so then what do you you get you get threesomes but even then is that really an open relationship that's more like a swingers type of relationship an open relationship is you literally go out on dates and fuck other people while your husband or your wife is sitting at home it's a bit too saucy for me i'm not gonna lie so just to conclude the fact that you're in an open relationship i personally think that your relationship wasn't healthy to begin with but if you're already questioning whether or not it's healthy it just goes to show how unhealthy your relationship actually is me personally if you're not happy and you feel upset that she lied to you i'll have the chat of her if you're happy to still be her while she's fucking other people by all means do what you gotta do just stay with her it's your life but just make sure you communicate that with her and just say to listen i want to be with you but i want you to be totally honest with me i know that you've been fucking all these other people i'm not going to judge you on it i'm going to accept it because that's the kind of guy i am that's a relationship that i want with you but i just want you to be dead honest with me in the future and if she lies again then dump her ass but it's down to you to make that call i can't make the decision for you i personally don't see our tie of open relationships but on that note that brings us to the end of today's video and if you've enjoyed the fact that i've shared two stories on this video and not just one then let me know down below in the comments because i might do more of it and obviously if you've enjoyed this video then give us a thumbs up let me know down below in the comments if you agree or disagree with anything i've said i love getting your thoughts and remember guys i give shout outs to my favorite comments now so keep your comments coming in and if you're not already subscribed then consider subscribing right now and turn on post notifications i can't express how much i appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing and consider joining the reddit relationship podcast vip club right now you're not only going to be able to connect with me on a much more personal level but you'll be one of the first to support the reddit relationship podcast channel and i can't thank you enough for that and if you've enjoyed this story then you're going to love the story that's about to appear on screen in three seconds and i'll see you on it take care